Okay, we continue talking about slope by looking at the second way uh, that we have to find slope, and that's by talking about what's called a slope-intercept form. Uh, when the equation is in the format, format y equals mx plus b, uh, we can figure out the slope by just looking at the coefficient of the x term. It has to be in the form y equals, then the coefficient of the x term uh, will be the slope when it's in that form, that mx plus b. Um, this is called slope-intercept form because when it's in this format, not only can we read off the y-intercept really easily, or the, sorry, the slope real easily, we can also read off the y-intercept. Uh, because remember, y-intercept, you put 0 in for x. Well, if you put 0 in for x in this equation, you get y equals b. So that other number happens to be your uh, y-intercept of the equation. So one of the things we can do uh, is using slope-intercept form, we can actually really quickly, just from having the equation written in that format, we can really easily draw a quick sketch of the graph. Um, y-intercept here is 0, 1. So I'm going to mark that on our graph. Slope is 2 thirds. Now remember, slope is the change in y over the change in x. So positive 2 means y is going to go up by 2 when x goes up by 3. And then we just go to our graph, move x over 3, move y up 2, and now we have our second point on our graph. And that's all we need is two points. And then we can draw the uh, graph of our equation. So when an equation is in slope-intercept form, uh, we can very quickly uh, draw a real quick sketch of the graph. Okay, so now we want to get into some examples of using that slope-intercept form to find the slope. Now here in these problems we're just worried about the slope, so we're not worried about the plus b part, the y-intercept. Just the slope part of the equation is all we're worried about finding. So we could begin with a real simple example. Here the equation is in the format that we need it to be in, so we can very easily just read off the slope is negative two-fifths. Our second example is for the most part in that format. It is solved for y but this time you have a big fraction. I'd encourage you to break that fraction up, and if possible, simplify, so that now it's in the format of number times x and in some other number. So once we've rewritten it into that format, it's really easy to see that the slope is in simplified form, one half. Okay. And our next example, uh, the equation is not even solved for y, so we're going to have to go through the work of solving that equation for y. So remember, we want to get y by itself, so we can begin by subtracting off a 2x to get y by itself. That leads us to 7y equals 14 minus 2x. And then to get y by itself, we need to divide both sides by 7. At this point, the equation's in the same format as this equation from before. Uh, so to really see what the slope is, I would suggest breaking that fraction up and then simplifying your two pieces. Uh, and then again, once it's in that format, it's really easy now to read off the slope. Slope is always the coefficient of the x. In this case, there's a minus sign in front of it, so it's actually a negative two-sevenths. Okay, we have a fourth example. You're finding the slope. Uh, when we have the equation of the line, 8x minus 6y equals 9. So again, we want to solve that equation for y. I would encourage you to take a moment or two and try to do that before continuing on in the video. So here we again subtract off 8x. We get negative 6y equals 9 minus 8x. And then we can divide both sides by negative 6. And once again, we want to simplify. So we write that as 9 over negative 6 minus 8 over negative 6. And finally, simplifying those fractions, we get negative 3 halves, which again is really not what we're worried about in this problem. But that minus 8x over negative 6, two negatives become a positive, we get uh, 4 thirds x. And so our slope is 4 thirds. Okay, and so that's how we can find the slope of the line uh, when we have the actual equation. Okay, uh, there's 
a little bit more to look at. We have another type of way to find slope that we want to look at, and that will come up in the next video.